In this week's video, I draw some squiggly patterns on my windscreen. I throw some water on my windscreen. I draw more squiggly patterns on my bonnet and then try and grow my own car. And welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. This week we have Soft 99. Yes, finally, Soft 99. Where have I been? Under a rock probably, somewhere on Mersey, covered in seaweed, yes. Soft 99 reached out to me and they've sent down some products. Fuso Coat, really excited to use this one. I know this has been around for quite some time. This is the dark version, although you can use it on lighter colored cars, very odd. Um, we've got that. We've also got Glaco the glass compound, and once you've used the compound, you're going to want to seal it. I said down that, that's the sealant, Glaco glass sealant, or what they've called it is chemical liquid super wiper. Hmm, interesting. So, without further ado, let's see what the fusso's about. <laughs> I don't even write right these, I really don't. So here we go then, we're straight into a very quick maintenance wash, and when I say quick, I mean sped up. If you want to see the full wash process of this car, check out the link above. Well, I am going to put the links to the products being used this week. I'll put them underneath the video as well as the Soft 99 website. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for up and coming videos. So once we've done our two bucket wash, our pre-wash, the wheels, yada yada yada, is on to the rinse down. And then a very quick drying stage before we move on to the glass. This is Glaco glass compound. This will remove the contamination that's bonded onto our glass, get rid of all those nasty marks. In preparation for the glass sealant. So that hole in the middle is where the compound comes out. Be very mindful once you've shook this bottle up, obviously with your thumb over the end, don't start chucking compound everywhere. It comes out rather quickly. Now you can do this a number of ways. You can do it in a circular motion like I'm doing, or you can do it in the cross hatch method. As I say, it does come out very quickly. Stick around to the end of this video, more about that applicator. So once you've covered the entire area, this will haze off pretty quickly. You need to wash it off. Now you can use your pressure washer, but then you're gonna have glass compound all over your clear coat. So I'm just doing a gentle wash with a microfiber and the hose. Once you've done that, dry it with your drying towel. Also bear in mind, if it's a dull day, you might need one of these just to make sure that's nice and dry. Warm air blower. If you haven't got a warm air blower, pet blower, your next door neighbor's leaf blower. Glaco glass sealant. Longevity up to one year. Comes in like a roll-on deodorant type bottle. And it flows very, very quickly. A gentle squeeze, that's all you need on that bottle, and then it comes out. Overlapping motions once again. Circular motions so we don't get any high spots. And there it is, curing. Five to 10 minutes cure time, weather depending. If the sun's out, maybe less. So to remove it, you need a damp microfiber. Microfiber of choice is gonna be a short pile one for me. Less chance of leaving any fluff anywhere, any remnants of the microfiber. Things just got serious. I've got the glasses on. So I moved on to the rear screen. I thought I'd compound that as well. And I think I thought I was back at school because I was drawing on it. You're probably thinking you're new to this, why do we polish glass? The simple reason is 
Glass cleaners do not clean your glass sufficiently enough to put sealants on. You need to prep the glass like you would the body of the car. A little bit more about the clear coat on this car in a moment. So there's no streaking, it is very, very easy to remove. It's a simple task. And it makes for safer driving because the water is going to fly off. Right, on to Fuso Coat. Extreme durability up to one year or more, I've been told. So prep wise, basically it's better to machine polish your car. However, we are going to be performing some machine polishing videos later on this year. Stick around for those. So I'm using circular motions for this, a quarter turn in the tin with the applicator, and that is enough to cover a panel and more. Circular motions, because I don't want to get any high spots. And on a white car, it's quite tricky to see where you've been. So I'm gonna do the entire car, let it cure for about five, 10 minutes, and then I'm good to buff off. You'd probably think, wow, that's a long time, Paul. No, it's very, very easy to get this off the car. It's in fact probably easier than a natural wax. Use the edge of your microfiber just to release some of that excess in any of the gaps, i.e. panel gaps, or like I'm doing around here, around the headlights. And yes, you can do your headlights. Fluora polymers, whatever they are. I haven't waxed the car for a very, very long time and I found this really enjoyable. So what about water behavior on the glass? Well, judge for yourself. That's not hanging around. So anything up to 40 miles an hour, maybe less, that water is just gonna fly off. No need for wipers. If you haven't ever used a glass ceiling, I urge you get one, especially for motorway driving. And that is the crazy water behavior on the clear coat. And we've also got some nice warm gloss coming through there as well. Same water behavior on the rear screen. And yes, I'm still trying to grow my car. So obviously for best results, as I said, machine polishing is for the win. We will be doing this again, perhaps on another car, and we're gonna be machine polishing this car anyway, later on this year. So check out the glossiness of the car. And it is protected. Don't go just yet. There's something you need to know. Remember that glass compound? You don't want that drying out or you're just gonna ruin it. So get yourself a bucket of water, a detailing brush and just a gentle scrub. Don't go mad. It's quite soft. Allow that to dry and that is good to go on your next application. You can of course flip it over. And there you go, that was it. Don't subscribe, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.